and welcome back. My name is Monica and this is my scrap room. This episode is all about renovations. I'm going to show you how you can turn that trash into a treasured keepsake. My daughter's best friend Amy is in the middle of some amazing renovations on her condo. We dropped by there the other day just to see how things were going. I saw this pile of tiles in the trash and I thought wouldn't it be great to take some of those and alter them and then give them back to Amy as a memento of her old place. Here's a piece of the tile that I salvaged from Amy's kitchen floor before they took it all to the dump. I'm going to show you how to turn this piece of trash into this treasured memento. I'll take it off the trivet so you can have a better close up look. The first thing you want to do is clean up this piece of tile. I chipped away the grout here and it's quite easy to do. You can see it's just crumbling off. And then I sprayed it with some window cleaner and scrubbed off any debris to prepare a really clean working surface. There's really only one main supply you're going to need for this project and it stays on ink and some rubber stamps. I looked through my rubber stamp stash and I found this flourish type one. You can use any stamps that you want. Again, this is a great way to use up your stamps. This one says, life is a great bundle of little things. This one just simply has the word life on it. This one is again from that stamping up set and it's sort of a doodle flower. Another flourish from another stamping up set. Another interesting one with a dark background. Believe in miracles. And a couple acrylic stamps. This one was angel wings. You can see this one has ink on it, but that does not hurt the stamp at all. Although I do recommend cleaning your stamps after each and every use. And this last little tiny little flower, and it is again from the same set. But remember, you can use whatever stamps you want to achieve whatever kind of collage look that you're looking for. Amy really loves angels, and she really believes in miracles. And she's going to be a massage therapist, so I thought this would be kind of neat to be in her new office. I also used a stamp. You can pick this up in your office supply store or at the dollar store. It's just one of those date stamps. They come in really handy for projects. And because she had started her renovations on July 7th, 2007, which is 070707, I thought it was great to stamp the date right on that tile. For this project, before I decided where I kind of wanted my stamps to lay out, I traced out the shape of my tile on some white paper and then I went ahead and tried different patterns and different placements on the paper first before I started them on the tile. I found that if I worked in groups of threes, it seemed to give me a better image. It didn't look so just haphazardly placed there. So if you'll notice, I've got the three here. I've got the flower, the life, and this flourish is part of my three. This corner flourish, believe in miracles, and these little dots is part of that three. The life quote here, the wings, and the date. And then just to ground the whole piece is this dark background stamp. There are a couple of things you should know about working with stays on ink. It always comes with a cover and be sure to not throw this cover away as it prevents the ink from drying out. We're going to start with this large flourish stamp. We're going to ink. Instead of putting the stamp this way and dabbing it, when you have larger stamps it's best to take the ink pad and to ink up the back of the stamp like that. Just make sure it's all inked up. We're going to go ahead and put this in the corner, the left hand corner of the tile. One thing about this ink is it's kind of slippery when it's on a glossy surface, so you're going to have to apply pressure to make sure it doesn't slide and smudge. You can see that. And it even went off a little bit up here, and that's okay. Remember, this particular tile is just supposed to look like a collage. Okay, now I'm going to take that little teeny flower, and I'm just going to place three of them 
around the flourish. So there, I've got those on. Next is my Believe in Miracle stamp. And I'll just kind of put it on a bit of an angle. Believe in Miracles. I'm going to take this corner flourish stamp and stamp that in the corner and press it down and I'll also take the life stamp and I stamped it along the side. You can see it coming together. The reason I did those two together is because I'm going, when I take my big flower stamp, I'm going to probably stamp over those images, which is okay. That's a part of layering and collaging. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So it kind of stamped on top of the words believe in miracles, but you can still read it and it looks great. Now we're going to go ahead and use these acrylic stamps. What's great about these acrylic stamps is you can see this acrylic block here. These stamps just place on, they just stick on like that. So you place them where you want them, ink them up, and the beauty of these is you can see where you're going to be placing them. It's not a guessing game. You'll notice my wings sort of are kind of, some of them are dark and some of them aren't. That's okay. It just lends to this look of collage. I'm going to go ahead and place this corner one in the right bottom right hand corner. I'm going to take the life quote and put it in the opposite corner which is a little bit different than my original one but that's okay and again pressing down hard and the last one I have to do is the date ones. There we're almost complete. I like to build a frame around my projects by inking, so I'm just going to simply take my stays on ink pad and run it along the corner, the bottom, the sides, and the top of this tile. And it just makes it stand out and pop out a little bit. And there you have your finished project. And don't be afraid to try different sizes of tiles. This is a much smaller tile. The original looked like this. These are the tiles that we have in our kitchen. And they're hand pressed. And I work as a labor doula, so I created one all about birth. I will look through all of my stash of stamps and anything that related to birth, I just pulled aside and I stamped it. And I love the collage that this created. I varnished over this one to give it kind of that old antique look, but you can leave it plain. It's entirely up to you. Once your project is completed, you can display it on a decorative trivet, or you could simply take some ribbon. I have some ribbon here from SavvyAndSassy.com, where I get all my ribbon supplies. And you could just adhere it to the back and hang this from a wall and make a lovely wall hanging. Well, I hope you enjoyed altering this tile into a treasured keepsake. Thanks for dropping by.